All right, welcome back. So in this session, we're going to be doing the next operation, which is going to be facing this top section right here. So let's get started on that. All right, so come over here to Mastercam, Mastercam X8 tab, select 2D toolpath and facing. Now, something really nice about this, all you have to do is select this top surface to face. So select the surface that you're going to have to face and click on OK. All right, so this facing operation is selected. Let's go ahead and click on tools and go ahead to select library tool. I'm going to go filter and I'm going to make sure I'm filtering by a face mill. And let's go ahead and select a two inch face mill and click on OK. So two inch face mill, always make sure you select it and select OK to accept it. So there you go. This is going to be our second tool. For the holder, you can keep it as default. But from now on, I don't care about the holder. Uh, you're welcome to play around with the holders. Use the whatever holder represents your holder or build your own holder. So cutting parameters, I'm going to come over here to cutting parameters. Now I want to keep everything the same. I'm going to change the style to zigzag. And this will allow me to save some time. So bit, for example, uh, there is one way, which means it'll go up. It'll go one way, go up, go to the next section, go down go this way. So it'll stay one way, all of them. And these yellow lines, that means this is the, the upwards travel of the tool. So while it's not touching the part, it'll just up, go up over here, travel this way and go straight. It'll stay straight throughout the entire one. So one pass, it'll just one pass. So I could have done that if I know that this is, you know, this is a six inch part. I can select a six inch, if I have one, a six inch uh, face mill and uh, do it with one pass. And then there's dynamic and this is going in a circle. This is only, you know, nice in certain uh, times, but I will show you when this is actually uh, useful. But for now, we're going to do zigzag. This is going to save you the most time. I'll just do zigzag through the entire part. And we're going to change the approach distance to 0% and exit distance to 0%. And I'll show you how this affects our part once we start doing that. Now move between cuts. I'm going to change this to high speed loops. Okay, and this is between the cuts, it'll change, it'll change, the loops are actually go by much faster to save you some time. This is very important to know. Anything that will save you time, you need to make sure that you select that because you're going to notice that some of, your, some of your programs can be up to an hour or two, but really you know that they should, they could be done in a half an hour uh, or less, you know, and that's very important to do is to remember what can save me time during my operation. All right, so the depth cut, I'm going to uncheck the depth cut because I am not doing any uh, depth cutting. I'm just going to be making sure that it goes up to the surface. Okay, and I'll show you how to do that. Now, I could have changed depth, depth cut and selected it as a zero, but it's kind of useless to me to do that unless I'm cutting a pocket. So linking parameters, this is where you really select your depth cut. So I want to make sure everything's the same. And remember, it keeps everything the same as previously. But for now, I'm going to make sure that this in depth is incremental inc uh, increment and I want to keep it at zero. So that means I'm really machining to the top of my stock. OK, and because I really did not place a boundary or I didn't make my stock more in Z, it's not going to show me that I'm machining anything. But I'll the you know, I can still verify it to make sure that it's doing it correctly. OK, so this is really all it is. All there is for the facing operation is very simple. Come over here under coolant if you want. And you can change the coolant to on. OK, some of these other operations that I'm not going over, uh, I'll go over later on. So I don't want to go over them too much in details right now when I'll go over them later on. Now, quick view settings. These are really nice. This is just the options that you are selecting in here. So if you notice anything that in here that is a little bit off, you can always go back to the uh, parameter section that it's in and change it. OK, after you're done with that, click on apply and click on OK. And you're going to see Mastercam create your toolpath. Now I'm going to place this in the top view for a little bit. You're going to notice that the toolpath goes over and around, over and around, but then it's shorter here. It's not actually at the same size as this one. And also it's here, it looks like it's over the part. Now you'd say, why is that? Well, that's very important and it's uh, really nice to understand. It's because you're actually machining only this section. You've selected only this surface to machine right here. So that means instead of Mastercam going over the entire part, it knows you, we, we're only machining here. We're not really caring about this part. So it knows to turn around here and not all the way outside the part. That will also save you a lot of time. Okay. So once we have that done, come over here under uh, verify backplot and verify operation. 
but you want to make sure that both of those are selected. To do so, just make sure to come over here, make sure to select all operations, and you're going to see both toolpath there. I always like to see all of my toolpath while I'm uh, verifying my part. So come over here under verify selected operations and click on it. Okay, I'm going to select move my part in a way where I can see it better and go ahead and see my machining. Now I can move this faster so I can see my part go faster, but then you're going to notice that there's a line right here. And that line is for the facing operation. So again, you're not going to see yellow in this section or that it's machining. This yellow indicates it's the machined area. But you're not going to see anything over here. That's because it's actually going over and machining nothing. It's machining the, all the way down to the top of the part. But the most important thing is to sh see that it is actually going over the entire part and not missing anything. Okay? So the last section, you want to make sure that it actually goes over this part. So in the beginning, it starts right here and it goes back and forth all the way to the end. Okay? So there you go. This concludes as after you get this done, you can exit the verification uh, screen and this gets, uh, we concluded the facing operation. So next up, we're going to learn how to machine all around this pocket and around our entire part right here.